Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is Valheim and we continue. Previously we were able to defeat the first boss in the game, Effica, the Forsaken Stag and with it, it dropped a couple of hard antlers so we're able to craft a pickaxe. So today we're going to be able to venture out and gather some new resources. Before we do that, I'll just go over our skill sheet so you can see how we've been progressing. Bows at a respectable 32 skill points. Woodcutting is still our highest skill, no surprises there, we've been doing plenty of woodcutting. I have gone ahead and crafted the pick, so now we can gather some metal and we can also level our terrain. So I'm going to begin this episode by doing a little bit of building. Before we jump into any building, I just want to touch upon some of the status effects in this game and how they work. Particularly the rested and comfort buff. As you can see right now we feel rested, health and stamina regeneration is higher, 50% on the health and 100% on the stamina. Now this debuff will count down from when you leave your home and it's directly linked to the comfort level. So the more comfortable the building you're in, the more rested you will feel and the longer that buff will last. So you can see now we're resting and it says it's a comfort level 3. A comfort level 3 is pretty much the most basic you can get. That's a fire and a shelter. If we was to put a bed in here, we would gain an extra point. So let's stick an item of furniture down here. Now we can't really craft much because we haven't got any of the advanced wood. We can however stick a deer skin rug down. See, our comfort rised to a comfort of 4. Now it doesn't stack so we can't put loads of these items down. But I could bring this up to a level 5 if I was to stick our simple bed in here. That would reset our rested buff to 12 minutes. So I do want to build our house outside of here. I'm feeling this is going to be my crafting area in the hall. I'm going to make some adjustments in here and I'd like to have the bed and house separate. As you can see, if you bring up your compendium at any time, you can see any of the status effects that you've got on here. You feel sheltered currently, so that's quite a handy if you want to know what any of the effects mean above you. And now our rested buff is counting down from 11 minutes instead of 10. And uh, we're going to put some extensions onto the Viking Hall. Now I can make a little bit more space. You just come inside here, you'll see we've got a comfort level of 4. We're resting inside here and that's because the bed's giving us a point but if we was to put a deer skin rug down just here we'll raise that up to a level 5 then that buff would go up to 12 minutes so we'll pull this house down and hopefully we'll make a nice base in here we can grab some of the core wood we can craft some of these tables and chairs and bring that rested buff up even higher and we'll get rid of this nasty shack. So now that we've got the pickaxe, the original plan was I wanted to come out with this front entrance by three, but I could only go by two because I couldn't flatten this anymore. But now we've got the pickaxe. Of course, this is used for mining. It can alter the terrain as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level out this surface a lot more and I also want to create a pathway coming in from our fence down so I'm actually going to carve something out of the stone here just make it rise as gradually as I can so we've got some sort of pathway leading down here I'll probably level this surface out as well so it's going to take me a little while to do that well, that's about as good as I can get it just for now. I've leveled out quite a bit of this terrain. Got rid of the shack. And we've got a little bit of space to build in just over here. So, and I'm still planning on keeping the original house, but what I wanted to do was experiment in with doing a roundhouse build. Imagining a little Indian teepee. And to do that, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to put this down on 
these posts here. So first of all, let's stick our crafting station down. Somewhere over there. And we can tilt these beams and make somewhat of a circle. So this one's going to be my front door. So let's just have that where I want it facing. Say about there. And as central as we can. And we've just got to make a circle. Turning these in one at a time. So the key here is we need some support. And what we want to do is just place these beams down to make a wonky wagon wheel. If you just keep an eye on the center, you'll see it's just ending up as a circle. It's probably a good place to focus on. Just going out and then in. You can see there's a circle just appearing in the middle there. So we know we're angling them right. That one's wrong. There we go. It's going to meet up if we twist it. What? So we've got a couple wrong there. This one just needs to turn in. And there we go. Now we can place some floorboards down. And we don't necessarily have to build squares. Just thought this would break up our builds a little bit. Now, unfortunately, the floorboards stick through the logs there. I don't know if we can remove them afterwards and the floorboards will remain, but for now, everything's clipping on. And because they're smaller squares than the art pieces, you can actually make it quite round. Yeah. Just continue around the outside. Just put our door down. So I'm going to have a couple of windows next to the door. Another large window looking over the ocean as well. So let's place some 45 degree beams. I'll just do the bottom level first. So I'm going to need this for the roof to be supported. We're basically following the exact same pattern that we put down on the floor. So... I think that looks right. I'm just following the beams, keeping that line. There we go. I can see a circle at the top now starting to come together. Just twisting them the opposite way. So of course it's just gonna make a chimney for our TP. Smoke can just chimney out the center. Okay, the base structure is down. Just need to put the roof on and around it. I think I might bring these posts even further down. Then we'll bring the roof down to the floor. Really will look like more of an Indian tent that way, I think. Give the roof something else to clip onto. So just bring these 45 degree posts in. Yeah. I'm going to go around the outside with these. Keep following the same line. Well, that's our roundhouse completed. I've just put a few little details inside. We do need to go into the Black Forest so we can get some core wood and make some nicer furniture. The chimney works fine, everything just funnels up the middle there. I put a little cross section just to stop the rain from getting on to our fire and extinguishing it. But the roundhouse has turned out fairly well, I think. Just get rid of this workbench here. 
And I do want to carve away a little bit more of this mountainside just so I can get around here a lot better. I'm quite liking that. Okay. Well, we need to head out into the Black Forest and find some better wood and resources. Well, I'm just heading out towards the Black Forest and we've got a troll outside our base and we need to take care of it. I don't know if you can see it through the mist here. I love the weather in this game. It really, really does look nice sometimes. You can see we're going to have to take this on if it comes any closer to our base. It's wandered out of the Black Forest. I've just gone back and crafted some fire arrows. Has it wandered back into the forest again? There we go. Okay, let's take it on. We are doing some damage. Just keep away from it. We've got quite a bit of space outside here. See, I've felled plenty of the trees around here, so oh, I don't need to get involved now. <laughs> Gonna spook both the boar as well. Okay. She just needs a tree line. Fortunately, I've still got a few minutes left on our rested buff, so. We're defending near our home. Our stamina is regenerating a hundred percent faster than it would normally. So I'm able to sprint around and out of its way. And we've got plenty of space here. So I'm pretty confident. We've got this. Taking a few hits though. You get out of here. shots. This is great because we're going to get a new resource here. Troll hide. Just one more. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And we got a trophy as well. So we learn a new recipe here. Some troll hide armor. And I'm actually going to go back and craft something from that. Because that will improve our armor rating. And then we can venture out into the Black Forest. Well, I've done some scouting and I found a little bit of tin and copper. But I've also found our first dungeon. We're not actually too far from our base. This is probably the closest one to us. There's a few skeletons outside before. I've taken care of them. I've also crafted a leather helm from that troll hide. So now our armor rating is a lot better as well. Could still do with some more upgrades though. Now hopefully inside here, well, there will be a few more of them skeletons. And we'll be able to get some bone fragments which again means we're going to make some improvements to even just the basic level armor. Okay. So, try and remember to gamma up here, James. Can't actually do it in game, but I'll try and do it in editing because I fear that this might be a little bit dark. So, I'll try not to wash it out too much, but YouTube does have a little bit of a struggle showing dark places so hopefully this is showing up all right for you guys I haven't actually got a torch should have bought one really can hear some skeletons through there just stand back oh yeah there's a couple let's get back here and I think they might be stuck oh there's a two star there have to watch out for that one. Two stars is the best you can get in this game currently, so 
Yeah, they're all stuck. It looks like that stone's blocking them. I don't know if I can actually get inside. I'm trying to push in, but I'll take advantage. This is our first dungeon, so three easier kills here. Yeah, can I get in there? I'll be able to use the pickaxe to get through. Please smash this door. So the dungeons are randomly generated, so I guess sometimes with random gen, little things like that can happen. There's just a stone blocking them. Got in though. Let's get rid of this one. Looks like this dungeon goes up a level as well. Now gather all of these bone fragments. Just grab some of these mushrooms. Strange glowing cave mushrooms. I'm sure they'll be quite tasty. And here we go. This is what we're looking for. Certling cores. And now we're going to be able to craft our smelter and our charcoal kiln. Also opened the ward. It's more for the PvP side of the game. We're playing on a server, but. So that's three cores. We need at least four or five to make our smelter. It's not a bad haul so far. Sometimes there's only a couple in these dungeons and uh, sometimes there's quite a few so doing all right so far. There's another one straight in front of us here. So I think that's enough for our smelter. We've still got two more doors to explore by the looks of it. I hope this guy is showing up for you guys. Usually when we're playing Ark, I can just gamma up in game, but I can't do that with this one, so... We'll have to do it in the edit. And... Oh, looks like a rancid skeleton. one's got a poison effect. And we just got hit there. It's taken us down quite a bit. Try not to get hit again. Okay, so we got a trophy there, some more bones, and I'm actually going to eat some stuff here. Let's try these strange mushrooms. There we go. down this way? No, I don't think we did. Yeah, one more. Just a normal skeleton this time. So, yeah, three shots on a normal skeleton with these fire arrows. Made sure I crafted plenty of them. Three more cores. Fantastic. Six is actually quite good for one dungeon. Got a chest here as well. Go, you know, just grab this treasure, some more arrows. There was one more door to explore. Let's see if we find any more. We at the very least have enough now to craft our forge. And I've gathered a little bit of tin and copper. Tin you can find just around the ocean and outskirts of the Black Forest. And uh, copper, there's a copper vein quite close to this dungeon. Oh, oh, didn't see that one. Get back, get back. So we got two. I don't know if there's any skeleton spawners in here. I haven't found them yet. Obviously, if we destroy the spawners, then they'll stop coming in. They don't always have one. So, once we clear this out, it might just be that. That way. 
grab all these mushrooms. May as well. I think at the end here. Sometimes there's jewels and things laying around, so you just need to keep an eye out. Don't want to miss anything. This was the last door. Nothing in here but a mushroom. I wasn't expecting much. We already managed to get six of the cores. And that's our first dungeon. Not a bad haul for the first one. We've got loads of bone fragments now, so I'm going to be able to upgrade all of our leather armor. So our first dungeon down, many more to go. And I'm just going to mark it off on the map. I think it's useful if you just mark at least something, put a dot down and then I put the cross through it to just say that we've actually completed it and we'll keep track of all of the dungeons we're doing. Saves time. Now, the copper vein I was mining was just up ahead. I don't want to go back empty handed. And I've got a little bit more we can carry. So just over the top here. Came around the back last time. And here we are. Already had to leave some because we can't carry too much. It does make a noise when you're mining. So we might aggro a couple of bits. But we'll carry as much as we can. Okay, so that's one dungeon down and we've managed to get our iron forge up and running. I've made a couple of adjustments around here. I've uh, got rid of the cross on that front section, put a different type of porchway in. I've also expanded on our hall. I've brought it out to the three on this side like I originally wanted to because we got rid of this mountain and leveled everything out. And uh, I've done the same on the opposite side and I've also shifted this post section to the outside so now it matches and it's uh, more symmetrical As you can see I've been raising the surface here I still need to keep on raising and leveling it out I'm happy with how it turns out so this is our forge just in here we shove in either the tin or the copper that starts smelting and we need to operate that with coal. Now I don't have the coal kiln at the minute. So the only way I can do that is by burning food. So that's quite costly. I'm going to have to go in the dungeon and get some more certling cores to make a coal kiln. But we've got started and we are getting some metal together. And but rather early on in the game when I was chopping some trees down. I was lucky enough to be able to knock over a birch tree. And we got... 11 of the fine wood so I have managed to bring back some core wood from some of the fir trees in the black forest and with the fine wood we can now craft a fine wood bow now we're going to need better axe in order to chop down them birch trees but the fine wood bow is certainly an improvement on our current crude one so I'm going to make that improvement. Again, I've taken the armor as far as we can at the moment in terms of upgrades. The next thing we need is iron and tin, rather. Getting confused with art there. It's copper and tin. As you can see, I'm just filling up this chest here. And uh, we've got enough now to be able to make some new workstations, but... Again, I need to go out and gather a few more bits. I'm going to go and get some more certling cores. And uh, we need to get that coal kiln up and running. So we've got a few bits to do, but our little base here is coming along just nicely. And again, I, I just want to bring up the terrain just on the outside just here. But I'm much happier with the new space that we've got. And again, I think when we get into using stone... Now I've got something that I can put something up on the top of that cliff there, more of a fort. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how things are turning out. A few bore down here to test out our new fine bow. Oh, that was down to my bad aiming rather than the bow. There's always some boar spawning around somewhere close to the base. 
I want to experiment with uh, taming a few of these guys. Can tame creatures in this game. And uh, it's still early access and it's just out, but I like the fact that there's that in it, so we'll see how that goes moving forward. Be great if we can get some mounts at some point. Now that we've got our smelter, we're going to be able to craft a new workstation. There's going to be a whole new load of, of tools to open, so I need to go into some more of them dungeons, get some certling cores, and uh, start mining some copper and tin. And hopefully we can craft some better equipment and venture further out into the world. But that's about all the time we have for this episode of Valheim. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.